Hello and welcome to my F1 2021 Williams RTG career mode. It's been a while since the last one, three months, so to get this season done and dusted and get more deeper into the career mode, in this video I'm going to go through all the remaining races in this season so we can start proper in the next season for season 3 so the races left we've got this one Hungary we've got Spa, we've got Monza, we've got Singapore and then we round the season out in Brazil so we qualified last because I'm absolutely shocking at Hungary and if you want some time scale I started recording this season when it was the Hungarian Grand Prix in real life and now of course we're two races into the new season so that's how long it's been. So let's go to the Hungarian Grand Prix then. The lights went out and it was decent between the two Mercedes. The Red Bull tried to get, or Verstappen tried to get a good start. I knew I had to do something at the start. So we just blatantly dive bombed it straight down the inside. We got our teammate. We got alongside an Alfa Tari as well and um, Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll just, just beating us um, ahead but now we're wheel to wheel with George Russell our teammate George on the softs we decided to go on the mediums to start the race so we're flying through turn 4 we've gone wide and George has got us into turn 4 up the inside Lance Stroll is going to have a little look um, but we defended him off but now He's going to come back at us. Because this was pretty much the story of the race. I'm absolutely shocking around Hungary. We did something at the start. Stroll down the inside. And that's done and dusted for him. We tried to keep our foot in. You know, try and send it back down the inside. But no. Skipping on to lap 5. And Charles Leclerc puts his foot to the floor. And spins. And that wrecked his race after a pretty good race so far for him. And then God knows what he's doing there, just sat there. And now I'm skipping on. You can see us here. About to get overtaken again. Here comes Giovinazzi around the outside. We force him wide and he loses out then too. Espan Ocon. You can have a go so we're skipping on two laps where... We forced him very wide off the track, that nothing that was clean. Don't even try and tell me that wasn't as large draw as Giovinazzi tried to go around the outside. We forced him wide and Ocon is now coming back at us as well. Now down the inside here comes Giovinazzi on us side by side can we get the exit it looks like we have round the outside though Giovinazzi guys we pin it right to the exit a knock on and gets Giovinazzi back and there was this very very questionable defending here but it would have been a very boring race otherwise as Ocon goes wide thought he had an issue but no just decides to pit. I'm going to try the undercut as we now come into the pits a lap later. Because I thought we've got to do something here. We've got to cover off. So I'm going on the hard to get into the end. There is Esteban Ocon. And we managed to just stay ahead of the Frenchman. But he did get out in front of Giovinazzi as again at turn t two. A very questionable defending forcing Ocon off the track again. But these are just small highlights just to keep this video a bit shorter. And we were that slow that we got lapped by the race leader, Lewis Hamilton. And that was pretty much the race. We were just Hamilton won, Bottas second. Sergio Perez gets in the final spot for Red Bull. And if I did trigger the whole of this race, it would have just been me defending 
every single lap pretty much and then that just gets boring after a while but Lewis Hamilton won the Hungarian Grand Prix and it's not a good result for us for Williams only just finishing behind George it's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes... In a minute, here we go the Constructors. Only seven, only nine points so far. We've won more than George, but... This is an RTG and we're not going to get up there straight away. Mercedes leading the Constructors. So let's go into Spa for the next race. Of course, we didn't get one in real life. Um, the rain, very much questionable Grand Prix after four hours of waiting. So it's another Mercedes 1-2, this time headed by Bottas. Lando Norris got a good result because he's right in the mix in this championship fighting um, Lewis Hamilton. And George was 14th, we were 15th. And yet, yeah, still the horses at the back, Nikita Mazepin. Everyone's guaranteed to finish 19th or above, aren't they? Because he loves being 20. As the lights went out then, and we've already had more action in this race than we did at the entirety of the Belgian Grand Prix in 2021. We yet again sent it down the inside. And now, side by side with the Aston Martin, we send it through a rouge. We go side by side with the Aston Martin. Stay just ahead. Going a little bit wide, you see Lando Norris, everyone side by side there, here it comes Yuki Sonoda, trying to get past Daniel Ricciardo, and we're far about sending it round the outside. Couldn't quite do that, but now we come up to the very long corner, as there goes Peter Gasly, as we're going to say round the outside of two cars there, but we went wide and we couldn't make it stick unfortunately but Ricardo and Yuki Tsunoda still going at it here and uh, Dan Ricardo held on as we came under pressure from Lance Stroll from Sebastian Vettel rather sorry as the two Aston Martins are now side by side but nothing really happened there as we're now on the back of Yuki Tsunoda. We had good pace for once on do light spa. And we did get the job done on Yuki Tsunoda. But on a, on a couple of laps. Um, Yuki Tsunoda caught me out massively. Massively there. And tried to go send it down our inside very late. You could see my reaction to that. I had to turn out of the corner to avoid him. As here he comes, a couple laps later, but we easily defend him then. And then not a lot really happened after that. Yuki Sonoda couldn't get anywhere near us. As we come out of the final corner. And we beat him out. The undercut has gained us a little bit of time. But eventually he caught us and we went a little bit wide and he's trying to do us round the outside but and he does we leave him the space but that's not happening Yuki so we push him right off the track very questionable defending just like Hungary but now the Aston Martin could have a go here and he is having a go Sebastian Vettel He's going for it here, side by side. Now into the bus stop chicane. Is Yuki Tsunoda just going to hold on? Yes, he does. So Big Gas is going slow in Vettel. Just hit him. And Lance Stroll. Is it his teammate and the Ferrari is. And a little wank there as well. This is brought out the safety brought out the safety car and Peter Gasly just parked it on the exit think he had an issue wiped Vettel out of the race and 
Strong gives a new lift up as well and reverses on the exit, but she also calls out George, George and Williams. Now it's very similar. A sign to clip him as well to the incidents he had with Juvenanzi in real life. So the safety car came out and this where I thought we could gain a little bit and after very dodgy driving Peter Gasly just pull off and retired from the Grand Prix. As Yuki Sonoda was trying again he kept trying we really forced him to the inside. But I didn't want to give up and there was a little bit of contact there and he kept trying the second half of the race I give it to him he, this is on the last lap though this is where he made a mistake trying to get me going into the open so it was a win for Lewis Hamilton then beating his teammate the exact same podium that it was in the last race in Hungary the exact same order as well Lewis Hamilton though, really starting to put a grip on this title. We head to Monza next in this episode where he could set himself up very nicely for the title. So he wins. Lando Norris really struggling to live with Lewis Hamilton. Just when he gets going it's very hard to stop. With him fighting him for the title. Lando going for his first one of course. Lewis Hamilton going for his ninth world title. Max Verstappen third. Mercedes also doing very well in the Constructors Championship as well. We go into Monza. The Italian Grand Prix last season. If you haven't watched the video, go and watch it. Because it was an absolute classic at the Italian Grand Prix last season in this career mode. But it was a Red Bull 1 2 for the first time in this episode. Um, and then it's Mercedes McLaren, Mercedes McLaren. George had a good qualifying. We were 14th. And then down at the back, still. And I feel like it. Um, Pierre Gasly with a penalty. So let's go then to the Italian Grand Prix. This was the first race where the Red Bull had the special Japanese livery for Honda. And the lights went out and they got a pretty good start side by side. We also tried to send it down the inside but there's yellow flags and the front wing went flying because Sebastian Vettel hits someone and for the second race in a row he is out of the Grand Prix we had to go completely off the track and to avoid that didn't lose any positions thankfully though through the second chicane a little bit wide now heading towards the two Lesmo corners through the corner and I absolutely dropped it on the on the exit, Yuki Sonoda got caught up in it as well. I've got my front wing ripped off. Yuki Sonoda has his front wing whipped off. Now let's go back to the start. So, Sebastian Vettel, he has all this space to his right and then he clips the Mercedes. The whole front of the field just goes for some reason. And he retires, look, he literally turns into the Mercedes. Look at the space he had on that right hand side, he could have absolutely sent it, but no. And this is our start, we didn't really go anywhere and just kind of sat here waiting for a gap to form. I mean Vettel going over gave us a lovely little run but we go to through the McLaren which was helpful. Gained a few places and then going through the curve of Grande, through the chicane, locked up, and then into the first Lesmo, just clipped the curb, too much curb, and spun it, and then I tried to do a three point turn, spin the car around, was half the field were coming towards me, ripped off my front wing, Yuki Sonoda 
got battered about there like like a football Kimi Raikkonen got caught up in it as well and what a dramatic start to this Grand Prix as we're going to need an entirely new front wing and we are going to go onto the mediums see how far we can get them but we're probably going to have to do a two stop though but I'm going to show you this again because as my mechanic takes my front wing off the front wing goes back to full health like just reappears as it's been pretty comfortable for the two Red Bulls so far not a lot really happened, I was on my own so we're going to pit again now Kimi Raikkonen and we sent it down the inside Driving. made a bit of contact with Kimi, he had to pit but Max Verstappen ruins the Mercedes run of form in this video wins the Grand Prix Lewis Hamilton all the way down in sick being beaten by Lando Norris Lance Stroll and George Russell just clinging on just misses out on points Lewis Hamilton though after that result can seal his ninth world title going into Singapore but before we get there there is a regulation change for the aero and the durability side of things and I've been saving some points just in case and we've managed to do it but I like Singapore but it's got to rain for the entire Grand Prix which is going to be fun if you've done Singapore which you probably have you know it, al it always already takes a little while and when it rains it feels like you're doing it forever so we're going to start 13th I've been quick around Singapore on my other career modes that I've done Lando Norris though lines up 19th when he's got to pretty much win this race to stay in the hunt the lights went out and Bottas seemed to have got the better start but everyone just gingerly away as we sent it down the inside several cars that tried to go around the outside as there's three cars in front of us just sitting patiently waiting for them to make a mistake is um Max Verstappen who we've actually beaten there as Perez leads and look at Charles Leclerc side by side with um Valtteri Bottas as we send it down the inside of the other Ferrari of Carlos Sainz and we get that job done in the end I always seem really slow for the, with the inters for some reason I'm much quicker in full wet conditions I think up next though is Sebastian Vettel he'll be looking to actually finish this Grand Prix after back to back DNFs that'd be something he's hoping for as there was a bit of contact I think and Carlos Sainz pits as Lance Stroll decided the, these wet conditions aren't for him so he retired from the Grand Prix and Max Verstappen then just went for it this was recorded well before the events of Abu Dhabi or anything like that as we pushed him wide and Daniel Ricciardo got through and I really wanted to just keep him behind Ricciardo they had damage from a slight little touch with Verstappen as here he comes again I could just do about a 20 minute video of me just racing Verstappen but he always there, he always pulled out but he never went for it so I'm going to show you the times he actually went for it tried it again, we forced him wide and no again Sebastian Vettel's out of the Grand Prix double retirement for Aston Martin and three retirements in the in a row for Sebastian Vettel as Max went for it again and we just pushed him off the track left in space and if this was real life Max Verstappen he definitely would have got me by now 
as we make a little mistake there and he thinks about it down the inside but we get the exit and keep him behind for now but skipping on we did make a little bit of a mistake there and now he had to go to the outside and we pushed him right off the track and the Alfa Romeo there of Kimi Raikkonen who has sadly announced his retirement at this point of the career mode he had some damage, Verstappen had some damage so he decided um, actually no I don't think they had damage so they just decided to pick a new set of intermediates no Max Verstappen did have damage from that which it stopped him breathing down my neck for a bit and skipping on a couple of extra laps we are going to pit for a new set of intermediates and you may have realised in this video that I've changed my car number from 66 to 20 the date of birth is the 20th so I thought I'd change it but obviously Magnussen's back in Formula 1 so it's going to have to be back to 66 for the next F1 game we're beating out Verstappen by a mile but we had no pace so it didn't take him long for uh, him to get us he tried again up the inside at turn 1 we defend him but he seemed to be much more aggressive this time round as here he goes into turn 1 lap 20 and he backs out again see real Max Verstappen sending that without even thinking about it he's driving like Bottas at the minute but here he, he came again at me this time though he fully got alongside and he squeezed me and he's through I tried to cut him back I tried to go down the inside but after a long 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 while he did get past me and he disappeared up the road and I never saw him again but we are witnessing even more history as Lewis Hamilton round the final corner here in Singapore to make it a ninth so the world title. Begin and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new world driver's champion. His team. And, they and he wins it in style. Not if title with a win. It could have happened with the eighth, but we don't talk about that. This was filmed before it. Charles Leclerc getting on the podium as well. You love to see that. The fan of Charles Leclerc. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. Red well, Bull going strong. Double retirement for weekend. Aston Martin. Vettel day. At least he didn't get his front tyre ripped off, so. That is a bonus, but he's still retired. Red Bull are starting to make inroads. Is it too late? Probably. So let's go into the final race of the season. Here in Brazil, our engine is very worn, which probably didn't help us in that race. But you can see here, I've made, I've got an entirely new engine. Just keep that in mind. Bottas is on pole for the first, for the final race. George is in there, good result from him. And we had big, because I did this in the qualifying, so we're going to start 15th. The engine is gone. Obviously, at that point, we've got a new engine now. Max Verstappen's last. But you can see here, when the race started, the engine was worn, so I quit it, I quit the race, and this is the actual start. So who's going to win the last race, the lights went out. But I've got away well, another wet race as well. He's round the outside, we tried to go, we got the job done there, side by side of the Ferrari, of Charles Leclerc that is, but he's still there. 
and around the outside. We got the job done, and the Ferrari, the Charles Leclerc, has been there and lost it. And you can see here, my en my engine is still worn, and I don't know why. This was filmed a long time ago, so they may have patched it by now. But here's a replay of what happened, Charles Leclerc. I thought I hit him, but I, it turns out I was nowhere near him, and he actually touched the Alfa Romeo. And then reverses on t back onto the track and clips Mick Schumacher in the Haas. So they're both down at the back in this race now, unfortunately. The Haas still isn't very good, so you're probably going to get caught. But the engine obviously is worn, and this track's basically 90% of it flat out. So we're we're now trying to defend Verstappen again, and this time I just don't have an answer to him. And you can see behind me, that's not um, spray from the from the rain. That's the engine smoking. Literal smoke from the engine is coming out. And this was the point where I'd had enough. You know, you're struggling. When the key to Mazepin is trying to overtake you. Pierre Gasly retired from the Grand Prix. And it was at this point. Because. To give, give some context. I filmed this race. Straight after Singapore. So I was just so tired after Singapore. So I decided to retire. I just wanted a dry race. Foundry Bottas though. Won the final race of the season. It's a 1 2 4 Mercedes winning the Mech Constructors Championship at the final the race. And that's the season. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very much. This would have been a lot of episodes, so I think condensed down was a little bit better. Let me know if you like this kind of video. If you want me to just do the whole season, they're going to be longer videos, but, and probably be less frequent. But in the end, we finished so within the constructors. Hopefully, next season will be a lot, lot better. But, we'll see. It's ending off being, though, a record-breaking season, as Lewis Hamilton got a ninth world title. I'll see you in season three. Goodbye.